So you are telling me that you will pay me $25,000 if I provide you with the permit. Am I understanding you correctly? Yes, that is what I am proposing to you. Are you in? I don't know. It sounds like that could get me in a lot of trouble, but my family could really use that money. Can I have some time to think about it? Yes, but I will need an answer by tonight. What should I do? I have a lot of conflicting thoughts about this proposal. On one hand, I do see the economic value of the landfill, but I do love spending time at the basin. It would be a shame to lose it and it would certainly be detrimental to tourism. Also, I need to consider what my family would think. Would my wife approve of this decision? Also, I need to consider how it would affect my career. Would this get me in trouble with work? That being said, I could really use the money. That would be worth half a year's pay. I think I know what I must do. I don't like it, but I am going to take Mark's deal. Hopefully I won't be found out. Hi, am I speaking with Mark? This is Richard with the Parks and Recreation Department. I am calling to let you know my decision regarding the permit you were trying to acquire. After putting much thought towards it and discussing with my team, we have decided that we cannot grant you the permit. The basin simply means too much to this community. We would possibly consider another site, but he basin will not be in play. That's funny because I actually have the permit here in my hands. What? That's impossible. I never signed off on the permit, so how can you have it? That doesn't matter. All that matters is that I now have the permit and we can proceed with turning the basin into a landfill. You can't do that. It is not right. I will be doing everything within my power to set this straight. You will be hearing from our lawyers. We will see about that. I can't believe this has happened. How could he have gotten a permit behind my back? It doesn't make sense. Only one other person has authority to sign off on permits. Unless... No, Ben couldn't have signed off on the permit. Could hear. 